All right, guys, today we're going to talk about what knife would a survivalist EDC. Now, this is partly going to be from my own personal experience as a survivalist and, you know, doing survival stuff. And also, too, I've talked to many friends that are very much survivalists and bushcrafters by trade, and they have also given me feedback on different knives in my collection. So this is going to be a little bit of a mixture of both my experiences and some experiences of others. So without any further ado, Let's jump right into it. All right, so the first one up on the list, I think has to be a fixed blade because I think most people that, you know, like would be survivalists and stuff or would preferentially like want to go for a knife for survivalistic purposes are probably gonna end up choosing a fixed blade. And for me, I think given my collection, there are many solid choices out there, but I think for a reasonable knife for survival, something like this half face blades disaster junior, I think covers a lot of bases very well because once again, it's a very robust, very overbuilt blade being made out of CPM 3V. And so it's very much designed for hard use, for prying, for just robust, tasks where you know putting a smaller lighter weight or lighter duty blade into the mix would likely end up breaking it so something like this uh, disaster junior would have to be on the list because it's reasonably compact you know you can see it's still a reasonably small knife but also very overbuilt and designed to be treated harshly so i think the disaster junior makes a really good case for being a solid survivalist edc knife all right Next one up is one that would be my own personal choice. And I would say something like this TRM Neutron, or, and I would say something like this TRM Shadow makes a really compelling case for a survival knife um, for EDC. Of course, once again, these types of knives will never fully replace like a dedicated, like Chris Reeve Knives Pacific SE6 cold steel SRK, you know, like dedicated survival knives, but for something that you can have in your pocket all the time that can just work in a pinch, I think something like a TRM Shadow is really, really venerable because you do have that very solid crossbar axis styled lock that is going to lock up very well. You have a nice wide blade that is going to be very good for honestly doing a wide variety of tasks from processing game animals to feather sticking, doing a lot of those types of uh, tasks that you have to do out in the wilderness um, and also to what like I said it's, it's a good mixture of robustness and a good blade shape it also I'd say about it's probably only downside it's probably about it's only downside in like outdoors use is that it's pretty darn thin it's a pretty darn thin blade stock so you know you will have to watch like you wouldn't want to put a lot of lateral pressure on it especially with 20 cv being kind of one of those harder steels or more brittle steels you definitely would want to watch you know how much lateral force you're putting on it but outside of that it should really realistically be able to handle just about everything and once again you know being a personal preference you can choke up and get right on that cutting edge very easily very naturally and for me i think that that is a big plus all right next one up is going to be the rat model one now this is one that i didn't initially think of but a lot of people like a lot of my survivalist friends kind of really pointed me more towards this option because I think that like it actually can make a lot of sense in a wilderness kind of uh in a wilderness kind of application. And so ultimately, initially I should have thought about the, thought about it more because the RAT Model 1 is, of course, it does stand for Randall's Adventure Training. And that is the predecessor to um, SE Knives. So this is very much designed by survivalists. Maybe not exactly for survivalists because this is still a liner lock folder, but it does have a lot of really good use applications out in the field. And I think first off, it really has to start with this broad handle and once again too you don't necessarily have to get the red rat one this is just my particular one that's a little bit more bougie but you could get like an os8 version um, or like a d2 offering and it would be you know like the same exact knife just with different steel but the blade hand or the handle of the knife um, is just super super um, roomy it gives you a lot of options and it definitely accommodates larger handled you or handed users and of course you can pretty easily choke up on this guy which is something that you'll see as a consistent trend here um, so it gives you a lot better um, control over that very cutting edge in addition to you know you have a pretty decent sized blade length with a good general purpose blade shape it's going to be able to handle most things once again this is designed by randall's adventure training and um, i think it really 
shows that this is designed to be just a general purpose, you know, um, blade that can be good in EDC and also really quite venerable outdoors. Once again, noting, you know, things like the TRM Shadow, you know, this isn't necessarily like a go-to survival knife where you're going to baton it through like 15 logs. Um, there are uh, channels like Joe X, uh, he showed, you know, that this knife is not necessarily the most robust in its lockup. And once again, we kind of already know that because it is a liner lock. Liner locks are not inherently strong, but for a, you know, like more reasonable purpose of doing things like feather sticking, striking ferro rods if you need to in a pinch to start a fire, um, it will be able to do most of those tasks just fine. So, you know, you have to take it for what it's worth. Um, you know, folders are, as many people say in the comments, a pre-broken blade. So take that for what it's worth. Now, another one that would be a preferential choice for me and what I would probably end up taking over the Red Rat 1 or just a Rat Model 1 is a Spyderco Paramilitary 2. Now, this um, blade holds on to a lot of the similar vestiges of the Rat 1 where it's, you know, about the same size and handle length. Um, you can choke up on the blade. This one, of course, is definitely made up to choke up on the blade or made to choke up on the blade. It has, you know, jimping and a very nice forward finger choil but um when it comes to it i would take the paramilitary two over the rat one because once again it is a very similar um, blade shape blade style is full flat grind but the nice thing is that compression lock honestly gives you a lot more uh, stability and durability i have with my original um, paramilitary two with my original paramilitary two, I had actually batoned it through wood. And once again, here, we're talking about a blade length that's, you know, like around three inches. So you're not gonna be like busting down trees with this knife or anything too wild like that. But it, it is a very strong um, lock for whatever you're going to have to put it through. You're probably gonna end up breaking the blade physically before you break the lock. So take that for what it's worth. You know, um, this is a reasonably strong actual like locking mechanism. So if you are looking for something that's a little bit more durable, you know, more akin to the crossbar lock or axis styled lock, this is going to be um, where you're going to want to put your preferences. And once again, too, a little bit larger, nice finger choil, uh, forward finger choil, so you can get a good grip on it uh, choked up. So anyways, that is uh, my four knives that I think as a survivalist, I would carry. Um, once again, these are definitely no replacements for a solid you know, survival knife. Once again, SC6, Chris Reef Knife Specific, um, SRK, you know, like all those general knives. Um, these are not re direct replacements for that, but nice knives to either, you know, augment usage on a, a more survivalistic blade or just to have on you for going out into the wilderness for general woods work. You know, once again, feather sticking, striking ferro rods, processing game animals, making traps, you know, making like figure four deadfalls, stuff like that. Like all these knives are going to be able to handle those kinds of tasks very well. Anyways, guys, as always, God bless and I'm out.